Hey guys, how you doing? I am going to finish up with that glow in the dark paint and do a flip, uh, flip cut. So here we go. Need three ounces and we'll go for it. Let's see, I want to go with the black. Pink. That's pink. And let's go yellow. Green. Whoops. Orange. Black again. neutral whatever it is and let's go a little bit more pink that's it I could save these for a flip and drag someday yeah I did put the coconut oil in these because I wasn't sure if they were gonna sell up for any you know that baby and we'll wait it out just a few seconds here so yeah my videotaping ain't that hot these past few videos <laughs> but uh, I'll do the best I can it's such a big bright light just doesn't seem to want to be bringing out colors right I'm going to really try hard to uh, do it every day during the day with my natural light here. But it's nighttime, so. Always better using natural light. I have found that out, that's for sure. Dirty canvas, but it's all black because of my fingers. Yeah, let's see what this one does now. This glow in the dark. Oh, this is the glow in dark folk art, guys. Sorry if I didn't mention it. And uh, it came with this neutral. I guess that would be considered white. I thought it was, uh, and that's all for glow in the dark, but it works pretty good. You got to really charge it up with light. That's what I kind of figured out. I held it under my light by my desk, and then it really glue in the dark. But it works good with the black light. We'll see what this one turns out like. Just kind of reminds me of the neons. Good neons go in the dark too. Uh, I mean, they don't go in the dark, but with the black light. So, the glow in the dark is supposed to be charged with light, so I'll see. Not have any blue. showing up color but you know on the instructions on the bottle it said like more coats will bring it out more 
Well, of course you can't do more coats with poor painting. Like if you're painting something, more coats. I stretched it quite a bit. Just didn't want it real thick. And this is cool. Ooh. That's pretty neat. depth in there. There's some spooky looking things looking at me in there. Look at that one. <laughs> Alright, let's torch it and then we'll see what it does under the light again. Oh my goodness. Hey, do you guys know that I've used this propane tank for, it's going on a year? This has lasted me? Isn't that weird? Why get a little torch that you can have to put, fill up your propane in all the time? Except once they start running out, they flare up. Or if you tilt them down, they flare up. But, uh, yeah, it's been about a year. Of course, it don't run all day long, just a few times, you know. So that's why it's lasted me, but I have not had to mess with butane or anything. There. Okay. Looking really cool. Ooh. Holy moly. Okay. Let me turn off the light. Okay, I'm going to turn off the light now. We'll see if it... No, it still doesn't do it for you. Not in the camera. Well, only does it with... Oh, yeah, that's cool. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Well, I wouldn't suggest this glow-in-the-dark stuff without a black light. Absolutely not, because this, this, you just have to really charge it, and you can't see depth in it. You can't see everything that's going on. So, yeah, if you don't have black light, I wouldn't even bother buying them.
So pretty. Notice that when you hold this up to it for a few minutes, it charges it. No, let's see. Now I'll turn off the light real quick. Did you see how it dimmed out on you? Yeah, watch. Do it again. Oh, my camera keeps messing up. So that's how quickly it loses glow. Now I'll turn it off real quick. Okay, it just goes like that fast. So yeah, uh, I guess because we're adding Floetrol, you know, if I was going to use the paint just plain straight, then yeah, oh yeah, because look at these bottles are glowing like crazy. Now if you can see that, let me hold it up here. Oh yeah, see? So the straight paint's good. If you're gonna paint a canvas without Floetrol, but Floetrol definitely, there, see it just turned it off. I'm holding the flashlight up just to the bottle. So it's good stuff. If you can keep charging it with light, And if you're not adding Floetrol, because that dilutes the potency of the glow. There we go. Huh. That's funny. Okay. So we're good. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a good evening. All right. Like and subscribe if you'd like to. That would be awesome. I'm going to do a couple pour paintings tomorrow with some acrylic. And um, then I'll probably do one more resin sometime this week. And um, have a lot of cool ideas ahead of me.